In other news tonight, a dozen kitchen workers at a Katusa restaurant without a job tonight. They were fired after they skipped work yesterday as a show of support for a day without immigrants. Channel East Ethan Hutchins live in the Update Center tonight with both sides of the story. It's a story you'll only see on Channel 8. Ethan. Mark, the restaurant workers are all Hispanic. They say it was important to them to observe the National Day without immigrants, but they didn't think it would cost them their jobs. They feel like they've been uh, unfairly terminated. A friend translates for some of the workers at the I Don't Care Bar and Grill in Catoosa. They talked to us after they were fired for not showing up to work. They asked us not to show their faces or give their names. They've been working there for almost two years since the restaurant opened. The group willingly chose to stay home with others across the country, supporting a day without immigrants. They're upset that they stood for something they felt was necessary so the community would stand together and they got terminated for that. These six are a part of a group of 12 kitchen staff let go. The owner fired them by text message. Here's the note we saw on one of their phones. You and your family are fired. I hope you enjoyed your day off and you can enjoy many more. Love you. The workers aren't sure what comes next, but they did feel they had to stand up for immigrants living and working in the U.S. That was their worry to show that they are needed in the community. Restaurant owner Bill McNally gave us a written statement saying he has a zero tolerance policy for no show, no call incidents and the 12 employees violated that policy. Despite the shock of being fired, the employees say they aren't mad and they expected a possible reprimand, but they weren't counting on getting canned. They feel like he could have done something for them since they've been working for him. Today in a Facebook post, the restaurant was shopping for replacement workers. In the meantime, this group says they're moving on to other jobs, taking their stance with them. Immigrants are important to the nation. Now the group tells me they've never had a problem with the owner in the past and they wish him the best, but they say they will continue to stand together in the future. Live in the Update Center, Ethan Hutchins, Tulsa's Channel 8. Ethan, thank you. The owner did share with us today he's fired other employees over the past two years for violating his no-call, no-show policy.